Hey everybody, Angela from DNA Photography. I am going to walk you through a quick editing tutorial on how to do a head and hands composite image. Composite, taking two images and morphing them together to make it appear that the baby is doing this all by themselves when in fact they are not. They are supported the entire time. Two images taken back to back within seconds, same light, same composition, same everything, only takes a minute in Photoshop to morph these two together to make it look like this sweet little thing is doing it by herself when in fact she was supported and safe the entire time. Do not ever, 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 ever try this pose. I don't care how much you think, oh, the baby's balanced, it's perfect, it was only a second. It only takes a second for the baby to flinch, to move, to hurt their wrists for their head to lean down. It, it's not worth it. It's not worth it when it only takes a minute in Photoshop to morph these two images together. Just one minute. And I'm gonna walk you through how I do it. Um, first, I'm gonna start by having my two images together, or open together. I am using Photoshop CS6, um, but it works the same in any version of Photoshop that you're using. So I have my two images open. I am going to select my rectangular marquee tool. I am going to make sure that it's set to normal, not a fixed ratio or a fixed size because that'll limit how much I'm going to crop out of here. Normal. And then I'm just going to start right up in this upper corner and bring it down just below her nose line. And I'm going to take my selection tool and I'm going to drag this half of the image up over the second half of the image. And I'm going to make sure that this is not set to snap. Right now it is set to snap. I don't want it set to snap. I want to be able to blow this up and move it as the tiniest little bit that I need to. Now you can see her fingers aren't lining up exactly, but we're going to take care of that. Mostly what I try to look for is the nose, the eyes, get those things pretty matched up you can come over here to that second layer and you can reduce the opacity so you can start to see both images showing through and you can see I'm a little off so I'm going to get her eye lines to match up and boom those finger lines start to match up everything starts to look really good I'm going to bring my opacity right back up to 100% you can see that there's a little shift but that's okay because we're going to take care of that now I'm going to go back to fitting it on my screen now you can see we have this harsh line here. There's a couple of things that aren't matching up. Keep Always keep in mind where your assistant, your spotter, mom, dad, whoever you're using to support baby's head, always keep in mind where their hand is when you start this next step. But her face is lined up and her eyes are lined up and that's what I'm most concerned about right now. I know that Danielle's arm is way up here, so I've got plenty of space to erase this harsh line and get her feet and her fingers and everything else looking perfect. So I'm going to select my eraser tool. I'm going to make sure that my hardness is set to zero. I'm going to increase this size just a little bit. And I'm just going to start to erase off that harsh line. And I'm just going to be very careful. And boom, done. It's that easy. That easy. No need to ever do it any other way. Okay, I'm going to take you to a little, one that's a little bit more difficult to do um, because the baby's head moved just a little bit. This is sweet little Cole. I absolutely love this image. We have it on a canvas hanging in the, in the studio. Um, Gray is my favorite. Anyways, um, you can see between these two images, his head tilted. So um, I haven't worked on this one for quite a while. He was actually back in July. So we're going to wing it together. Um, but other than his head, you can see that his, the bottom part of him, you know, everything is the same, but his head did do that little tilt. So it's just going to be a little bit more difficult to line it up, but still completely doable. So again, have your two images open. Select your rectangular marquee tool, make sure it's set to normal, make sure snap is off. And I am going to select, because I love his little face here, all the way up to Danielle's thumb. My selection tool, bring this over to my other image. And I'm 
just going to start lining up as you can see from that head tilt it makes it just a little more difficult to figure it out I'm going to actually blow this up so that I can see better get those lines of his eyes to match up Now, what's great about these is you can get a little head tilt and not worry so much. I'm going to keep in mind where Danielle's hands are, so I know I can't go down below his fingers when I'm erasing. But I want his head to match up. So I'm just going to slide that over just a little bit so that this side of his head is perfectly matched. I know I've got to about here to erase, so I'm just going to figure this out as I go along. And I'm not going to worry about down at the bottom because I'm just going to crop that or clone that or I think I cropped it because here's the final. So select your eraser tool. Make sure your hardness is set to zero. We're probably going to play with the hardness a little bit just because we're going to be watching. I'm not going down to his eyes, but I am going to get that ear and blend it all out. Now his fingers are looking a little funky, so I just have to double check. I'm going to actually step that one back because I want that finger to stay exactly the way that it is. So I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to stretch it and slide it. And I'm going to stretch it again and slide it. That looks like it's matching up better because I don't want to erase all the way down to that finger. I definitely didn't stretch that one. Maybe I. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's step backward with this. Like I said, we're playing around together. So, because I don't remember how I did it. I'm going to actually duplicate the background because what I'm going to do is instead of stretching him on the bottom, I'm going to bring this one in because his head definitely was not that big. So there we go. Again, don't worry about your edges, things like that. I'm going to apply that transformation because we're going to fix all that stuff in a minute. I'm going to go back to my second layer and I'm going to select my eraser tool and I'm going to start to get rid of that harsh line and oh yeah matching up much better now perfect that's it done little stretching and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna take care of fixing all of this um, in post I'm gonna flatten my image first I'll duplicate it again and then I can start cloning painting taking care of the background taking care of where Danielle's arm is showing through and if you don't want to do that much work I always do a fixed ratio six to four so it's true digital and you can always just crop that stuff right on out. And then you don't have to worry about it, just fixing the background and editing your sweet little baby. So again, composites, composites, composites. It's the only safe way to do it. Thank you.